nations aspire to qualify for this tournament that only happens every four years. It is the most played team sport around the world. It is a time where countries put their differences aside to come together to compete. The hour where every player's hard work and dedication is displayed, where everyone's dream can come true. What for, you may ask? For a tournament that brings competition onto the table. It is the Soccer World Cup. It's a tournament where teams sacrifice everything they have in order to win and be a part of being and having the World Championship title. The World Cup is a tournament that no country wants to be left behind. The goal of my speech today is to inform you about the history of the World Cup, how the tournament is broken down into, and about the 2014 World Cup that is fast approaching. Soccer consists of two, two teams on, a, on the field for 90 minutes. Each team has 11 players. Each team's goal is to score a goal on the opposing team. Um, now that we have a clear understanding of what soccer is, uh, about the game of soccer, let's look back at the origination of the World Cup. The World Cup started in Uruguay in the 1930s. The creation of the World Cup is credited to a group of French um, administrators who came together. The purpose of the World Cup was to bring the best teams and the best players of every country to complete against, compete against each other for the title of world champions. There are many records being that have there are many records that have already been set in the World Cups in in the different World Cups that have been uh, happening throughout the years. There are only seven different countries that have won the World Cup. Five of them have been won by Brazil. That is not a lot. Now, now that we have gone over the history of the World Cup, I want to explain to you how the tournament is broken down into. Who can participate? How can they participate, you may ask? Well, the world is broken into six different regions. Now, these regions are broken down into, and they reside there's different countries that reside in each region. Each region um, decide on their own how they're going to choose the different countries to qualify for the World Cup. Our region only has three to four slots that can enter into the World Cup, so competition can get pretty hefty. Now the elimination process, um, it just happens, uh, they have those qualification games. When the region has chosen their three to four or how many they have uh, slots for the World Cup, um, the World Cup starts with 32 different teams. The 32 different teams are, are um, picked and they're given a group. In the first phase of elimination, these groups have to compete against each other um, two times. After they, they compete against each other, uh, teams are begin to be eliminated. As teams begin to be eliminated, there's less teams and quarterfinals and semifinals approach as well as the final. Now that I have explained a little bit about how the World Cup tournament is broken into, let me talk about the 2014 World Cup that is quickly approaching. There is always excitement about where the World Cup will be. There is excitement about the culture, about the language, about the cities, about the beauty within the World Cup. The World Cup in 2014 will be in Brazil. As we speak, there are uh, different stadiums and different places that are being built in Brazil just for the World Cup. Now, there are many favorites going into this 2014 World Cup, some of them being Argentina, which um, a lot of people arguably say that they he, that Argentina has the best player in the world. There is Brazil, who of course is a host country, and there also is Spain, who are the defending champions. There's a lot of anticipation 
uh, go in, that goes into the World Cup, especially the one coming. First of all, there's four years in between each World Cup. Um, although it may seem a lot, the process of bringing down 204 different countries to 32 can be pretty long. Um, but the, antici the anticipation is great. People want to see the best players in the world compete. Not only that, fans all over different countries want to cheer on their country. They want to see their country win um, that, the title of world champions. In the United States, soccer is only the fifth most popular sport played. But around the world, soccer is number one. It is played in dirt. It is played on the streets. It is played in parks. It is played in recreational areas. There is no age limit to play soccer. Children play it, young adults, teenagers, uh, parents, older people play it as well. Now, when the, when the time for the World Cup comes around, nations come to a halt, they pause. They wanna see the players play. They wanna see the teams compete. And um, out of personal experience, you not only want to see your team play, but you also want to see what other countries are bringing to the table. There can only be one winner. There can only be one world champion. Who will it be next?